In this video, we're going to be creating modulating bass lines with Ableton's newest synth drift, which was introduced in Live 11.3. It is actually one of only a few instruments included in every version of Ableton, ranging from intro to suite. Drift is essentially a subtractive synthesizer that has two oscillators, a noise generator, one filter, an LFO, along with various modulation and effects options. Among these options are the drift and shape parameters, which even by themselves introduce analog flavor and unique textures. The straightforward and minimal design of Drift might lead you to believe that it's not worth spending time on, but it sounds extremely powerful and has the perfect workflow for creating fat sub bass lines full of character. Let's jump right into our session and load up the default patch. We also have some drums and chords loaded up for context. To challenge ourselves more, we're using sustained single note bass lines because we want the interest to come from sound design and modulation. These kinds of modulating single note lines have been increasingly popular in recent UK house and breakbeat, with artists like Overmono, Bicep and Fred again, all making use of them regularly. Start by just lowering the octave of oscillator 1, which is currently set to a sawtooth wave. The second oscillator is set to a sine wave, which creates subby notes at low pitches. Boost the volume of oscillator 2 and also introduce some noise via the noise oscillator. You can toggle off the filter processing for the noise so that it doesn't get affected by the filter by clicking the small rightward arrow next to it. Now let's shift our attention to the powerful shape parameter. This control reacts differently depending on the selected waveform. In some cases it sounds like FM, in others it sounds like sync or pulse with modulation, and it's just warping the waveforms in different ways. You can see the visual representation of the waves below here. To easily assign it to an LFO or envelope, you can use this drop down here and set an amount. For example, assign it to envelope 2. Set a long attack and decay time so that the envelope moves the shape setting slowly up and slowly down, leading to some more gradual modulation. Even at this stage, we have a great bass patch with two parameters that we can automate to add character. The first of these is the amount that envelope 2 is affecting the shape. The second is the filter color. Switch the filter to type 2, which has a steeper curve and increased the resonance. Now group drift into an instrument rack by selecting it and hitting command G. Right click the cutoff and shape modulation amount and select them as macros. You can quickly see that these are great for some automation. The envelope section is quite straightforward and envelope 1 functions as the amp envelope. You can increase the sustain slightly to keep the volume of the bass higher while it's pressed. Remember, envelope 2 is currently being used for the shape modulation. The next section houses the LFO and mod panel. Open up the mod and assign the filter cutoff to the LFO for example. Have it affect the filter by about 40%. Then head to the LFO and experiment with the rate and amount. You can also map the LFO rate in the mod panel, so head back and assign the rate to envelope 2 as well.
you'll notice that you can assign different modulation inputs for the LFO amount specifically as well. Also importantly, Drift supports MPE or MIDI polyphonic expression, as you can see in the options in the modulation dropdown list. For now, we'll just use the amount as a macro in our instrument bag. The last step is to add some chorus with the unison mode. The drift parameter that adds analog character works well with unison and different balances between the two will yield different results. With all this chorus going on, make sure to add a utility effect and use the bass mono setting to ensure your low frequency stay mono. Also insert a glue compressor to add some cohesion to the levels and a bit of punch. A room reverb can also sound great with the shaper modulation, so use Ableton's stock reverb small room preset and experiment with the dry wet. To round things off, let's record in some quick automation using the macros in our instrument rack. If you enjoyed that tutorial, please make sure to like and subscribe for all the latest content from Attack Magazine. We have lots of other Drift and Ableton content coming up, so stay tuned and see you next time.